Hello, my friends. How you doing? Welcome back to Vlogmas. No, nope. for God's sake. Welcome back to Vlogtober. Who knows anymore? La la la. La la. This is the squidgiest. Oh my God, I just saw this in Sainsbury's and I was like, I'm gonna have you. This is Beetlejuice and a little squishy thing. They had so many and I was like, oh my God, if I don't get this, I'm gonna regret it. So guys, my birthday was great. Whoa, it was really, really fun. It was so nice to see all my friends and it's just like, your birthdays is such a grateful time just to see who shows up for you and like celebrates with you and ow, I've got a bruise on my leg. And it was just an all rounder, really good booze up. I've been watching the Outdoor Boys on YouTube and I genuinely just think that's where I want to aim to be one day. Maybe not that extreme to some of the things he does. If you haven't seen the Outdoor Boys, this man just goes sometimes with his kids and his family and does the most outrageous camping. I don't like just check him out. His videos are so amazing. Um, but yeah, he will just go and into the deep, dark Alaskan forests set up camp with like, you know, like a bed sheet. And he'll just like go out looking for food and he'll eat plants and it's, I think he used to be in the army, I'm not sure, but his videos are tremendous, great word. Whoa, some of the stuff I have done does not compare to what he has done, so maybe one day we'll get there. And I splashed out, guys. You're gonna be so proud that the time has finally come. Why is this such a loosey goose? The time has finally come. I know so many of you are gonna be so happy for me. Three, two, one. <laughs> I got myself a new Hoover. This was um, from Sainsbury's. This is actually like a Vax pickup pet, which I really wanted because, I don't know if you know about this about me, but because I like suffer from very mild, mild asthma, sometimes I can get a bit wheezy around dust. And I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know where dust come from. Like if someone could under, like if someone could explain to me the the formation of dust and where it comes from and what it actually is. Because sometimes if like the top of my lamp gets a bit dusty, I'll take a deep breath in and I'm a bit wheezy. So um obviously my last Hoover was outrageous. And I will obviously pass that on to my mum or my dad who would probably use that in the garage or something like that. But it was time for me to get an actual Hoover that wasn't gonna break my back as well because just some of the comments was making me peace. What a dust pet Hoover. Obviously I don't have a pet here, um, but I just think you can't go wrong with a pet Hoover because they're doing more than an average Hoover. Who knows, I don't know. So hopefully that will work. I'm so excited to Hoover. Perfect for homes with pets. And yeah, I'm excited to see how it, how it works. I just love hoovering. So in this video, we are going to be making a Hocus Pocus board with food, a charcuterie. A Hocus Pocus char pocus board. Obviously always want to give credit. <laughs> Shannon Doherty Mum Hacks on TikTok is where loads of people was, tech, uh, was uh, mentioning, me, mentioning me in this. So I was like, oh, what's this? And I saw it, I was like, oh, I've got to do this for a video. So we're going to do that today. We're going to get deep. We're going to get deep, guys. Just want to like have a little break and just have a little chat with you guys. Nothing serious, don't be worried. Oh. Has anyone watched that Catfish documentary on Netflix, the new one out? I really want to see it. So I just wanted to take this moment as always because it is so important to me and so important for me to continuously let you know how important you guys are to me and the fact that you engage in my in my content and you watch my content. There's a, been, a, been a really weird sound going on out there, but I can't work out what it is. I really hope it's not, I think it's just the wind. The weather has been absolutely bonkers. I'm gonna have to do like a little DIY balcony video before the end of the month. Um, look how cute this is. This is from Flying Tiger. Oh, that's one of the brands I worked with this month. Flying Tiger is one of my favorite shops in the world. You as a viewer just watching my videos and embracing me as I am just means so much to me because obviously over the years I've definitely had overthinking self-doubts about myself like everyone in the world. It's just a little bit different when you put your personality out there online for other people to watch and view and sometimes have an opinion on which is fine. It's been a massive journey for me to be able to fully, fully be myself online not that i was ever like fake but i was always like 
I don't know, it's just a weird, it's a weird situation that I still don't understand. You guys just really fully accepting me as I am, um, just means a lot. Like, it really does. I'm not going to get upset, but it just means a lot because I get in my head so much. I think you guys know that now. This month especially, in terms of, like, editing myself, I've naturally left a lot of things in that I would usually edit out. And it's nothing like crazy edits. It's just stuff how my mind and my body, uh, my body, <laughs> my mind and my brain works. Usually I would cut out things that I would thought, oh, what are you doing? What are you saying? What, just stay on track. But then that's just not me. And it's scary sometimes to put yourself fully vulnerable out to whoever, 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 I know we talk in the comments and the DMs and majority of you like I interact with, but I never know who's actually technically watching me. So putting myself out there like authentically myself can be quite scary sometimes. And I just want to let you know that the feedback and the comments and the DMs and everything just go so far for me. Sometimes I just won't want to be like, is me putting out videos enough for you to like give back to you. And so many comments say that I'm like a safe space for you, which makes me get a fizzy nose because I know how important it is to have a comfort creator or person like Miranda, for example. That is my comfort. Like the amount of times I've had severe panic attacks over the years and I put Miranda on and I genuinely have just been like, fine. So I do get that, but when it's me, I'm like, I just wanted to take this moment just to sit down and say thank you. I don't know, vlog Vlogmas, not me just calling Vlogmas Vlogtober. My brain. I feel like Vlogmas was vulnerable for me because it was the first year without my aunt and that was difficult. But I don't know, I don't remember being, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like this Vlogtober I've been a little bit more raw. Could be wrong, but yeah, we just want to say a huge <laughs> thank you. We just want to say a huge thank you. I just want to say a huge thank you. Um, you guys will never understand how much you mean to me. And I know I baffle on about the same things all the time. I repeat myself. But it's just important. You guys are the reason that we're all here. And you are the most important thing. Because if you all packed up and left, who would I share my, who would I share my quality time with Tony with? You know what I'm saying. I, that's it. That was my little moment thing. We're going to get cracking on the board. I actually need to wash the board because it was a new um, board. So yeah, let me just wash the charcuterie board. 49 degrees today. Love this tray. This is from Sainsbury's. I just feel like when you do charcuterie boards, you have that um, risk of things falling off the side. But this has like a like a rim, like a like a wall. You know what I mean? Also, this little muffin thing. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like double sided. I love it. Right, I feel like that is lovely and washed. Get rid of all the soap suds. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start with the witch's heads. So I've got some brie. Did I tell you it's a Hocus Pocus themed one? Oh my God, sorry guys. Gonna start with extra creamy brie for Winnie's Heed. So like, I'm gonna put that there. Then I got, oh man. Then for Mary's head, I've gone for beechwood smoked cheese. Oh, yum. And put that next to Winnie's. This one for Sarah's head. So these are their heads. <laughs> and for Winnie's hair, I've got some pepperoni pizzas, uh, pe pepperoni slices, and toothpaste. And basically what she's done, she's sort of like curled them round to make little curls for the hair. So obviously I'm going to do that. And then just like plot, like plot it through like that. It doesn't have to be neat, I don't think. And then like plop it up at the top underneath the cheese. So just like to make it look like it's like curly. And then put it like that. Then like stick it into the base like that. So I'm going to do that like, like a few times and make it look like Winnie's hair. Guys, how cool does that look? Oh my God, that come out a lot better than I thought it would. Gotta have more confidence when you're doing these things. Oh, I love that. 
And then we're going to be moving on to Mary's hair, which is going to be uh, blackberries. <laughs> I love it. So for Sarah's hair, we're going to be using some mature cheddar cheese and then I'm going to cut it up into little squares. <laughs> Guys, oh my god, this is looking so good. Oh my god, I can't believe how good this looks. Then we're going to add some strawberries under here. Okay, so underneath Mary, we're going to put some oranges. I'm just following her recipe, even though I reckon Mary is red, isn't she? She wears red. Winnie is green and Sarah's purple. It's more about the face, isn't it? <laughs> So you know guys, I love olives. I'm gonna put some olives in here. It's around the side. I'm gonna put some pretzels up there. I'm gonna put some of these smoky and sweet paprika, proper corn, popcorn, oh, up the top. Then I'm just going to fill in this little gap with some nuts. <laughs> looks amazing! And then to finish off the faces, you need to get yourself some sliced black olives. Sorry if you're not a fan of them. Then cut them in half to make the eyes. I feel like it looks like Sarah's winking. <laughs> get the pretzel, snap that in half. Oh my god, I can't cope. Mary's got that side smile, hasn't she? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. And I kind of want to give like Winnie her little teeth. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to get some of this, this might not work, some of this Marmite cheese and make her little teeth. This might not work. <laughs> Guys, that looks sick. Tell me that doesn't look amazing, sorry. Obviously, it was not my idea, but oh my god, how it came out. Looks so cool. I don't want to ever eat it. So guys, I've added some Smarties into the corner. Um, not Smarties, Skittles into the corner. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't wait for my friend to see this. She's going to be blown away. Um, but yeah, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? So Shannon Doherty. So this woman on TikTok at home with Shannon. Thank you so much for the inspiration. It has come out so much better than I could ever dream of, dreamt of. Guys, we're about to taste something either very amazing or something incredibly disgusting. And that is, you guys know now how much I'm obsessed with pickles, pickled onions, pickled, you know, pickled everything. So I found the scarily good Monster Munch pickled onion flavor mayonnaise, which I've actually been trying to find for a long time, but it's always been out of stock. So glad I got to find that. I was like, what can I have it with? But I'm actually just gonna taste it on its own. Ugh. Oh my God, the smell. Looks a bit watery, guys, not gonna lie. The smell. Okay. Oh, oh God. Guys, oh, oh, oh my god, that is that is amazing! How the hell have they done that? Oh my god, what can I eat with it? Oh my god, guys, this did not disappoint. How do I keep it? Do I keep it in the fridge? 
This tastes exactly like the Monster Munch, the pickled onion ones. It's, it's so good. Oh my god. You know when sometimes you get like these sort of like, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? What are they called? Like the novelty flavoured things and it tastes a bit like meh. Like when me, Zoe and Alfie tried the cheesy beans crisps and like the sausage crisps, they were so good. But sometimes they could be a hit and miss. This, however, oh, lovely. So guys, I'm so aware that last few videos have been super, super short. Trying to film my days and also doing things in my days that I can't really film has been quite, um, not a struggle, it's been like a little bit of an obstacle course the last few days. I really appreciate that the last few videos have been not as long as I've wanted them to be, but don't fret because the next two weeks i'm gonna make sure that the videos are super long but yeah i really appreciate the last few days haven't been as long as you guys would have hoped them to be and i haven't hoped my lip is clearing up which is great <laughs> and i will see you in the next video i love you guys so much mm -mm 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 -mm.